Hi, this is on triple five timer. See, thing is like uh, triple five timer is one of the important IC which you are using for generating the pulses and also delaying in the timing. We got a lot of LEDs, right? So in that LED, it's having an on off, on off, blinking and off, blinking and off. This kind of uh, blinking off, uh, yeah, delay in the timers in the circuit can be achieved via triple five timer. So we are going to discuss like how the triple five timer is used and our video motive is like to generate to generate a lot of ideas and to motivate the young generation please share this video let's go on to the circuits i'm going to talk about uh, that triple five timer you may ask me the reason what is this triple five timer it's nothing but i need to burn this led or uh, light this led in that case uh, i'm looking for uh, a blinking so how much the frequency i need to blink this led so this can be achieved with this triple five timer so for this we are going to use a triple five timer this one the model is ne triple five so i'm going to use this to any triple five timer for giving frequency in a variable manner and here is the circuit this triple five timer got eight pins one two three four five six seven eight we got eight pins okay so over here i'm trying to explain what are the pins the first pin is ground pin the second pin is trigger pin the third pin is output pin the fourth pin is reset pin so over here the ground pin i'm trying to connect to the ground and there is a trigger pin with this trigger pin i'm trying to connect to the capacitor so I got a capacitor here. Okay, the capacitor is used for charging and discharging. I'm going to use a 10 microfarad capacitor here. Okay, this is where I'm getting the output. So the pin 3 is output pin. Over here, what I'm trying to make it out like I got an LED here. And I'm going to blink it to show the output, to show the frequency. And the fourth pin which is nothing but the reset pin. So in this reset pin, I'm trying to connect to the battery supply. So we can use a battery since I need a consistent supply. I use this Arduino board. So it's not mandatory that we should use this Arduino board. We can go with a battery. It's more than enough. You can use the battery. So I'm using an Arduino board for time being to generate a five volt supply. If you're able to make out 5 volt supply, no need of this Arduino board. Okay, so I got a 5 volt supply here and uh, pin 5, we are not going to use it. This is for controlling the voltage. And pin 6 for threshold, pin 7 for discharging and pin 8 for VCC. So over here, we got your pin 6. So pin 6, I'm trying to connect to pin 7 with a resistor. So I'm going to use a 10 kilo ohm resistor. We'll do some calculation with this resistor. And pin 7 and pin 8, I got another variable resistor. I'm going to use an another variable resistor now. So this is my variable resistor. Okay, so here variable resistor, uh, yeah, resistor and a variable resistor of 10 kilo ohm. And pin 8, I'm trying to connect to 5 voltage once again. So this is the overall circuit. And I got my, this is my triple five timer. I'm going to use this triple five timer. Okay. So this is the triple five timer. I'm going to use it. Okay. So this is the overall circuit. With this circuit, what I'm trying to do is like, I'm trying to generate the pulse. So here is the pulse. So T1 and T2. So based on this, the LEDs will be blinking on and off. Okay, so on and off. So I'm going to calculate the frequency and varying the frequency with the resistance capacitor. Let's see like how we can calculate this uh, T1 and how we can calculate this T2. Okay. So here is the calculation part. Over here, this is the calculation part. So here is the output. I'm trying to make it out the time for T1. So T1 for T1. For T1, this is the formulation 0.693 
into R1 plus R2 into C1. So resistor 1 and resistor 2 and C1. So I got my resistor 1, I got my resistor, I got my another resistor and I got my capacitor here. Okay, this is a formulation I made it to calculate the value T1. And afterwards, for calculating the value T2 here, so I use this formulation. So 0.693 into R2 over here R2 into C. So this is the one. So I'm going to talk about T2. So here is the frequency I'm going to calculate, the sort of time period I'm going to calculate. The formulation is 0.693 into R2 into C1. So here is your R2. Okay, and here is your capacitor C1. So these values I'm going to calculate. It's a 10. And this one is 10. It's 10 microfarad. And uh, the total time can be calculated from T is equal to T1 plus T2. And we got the frequency F is equal to 1 by T. So this is a formulation to manipulate the frequency here. And here is the example I'm trying to show it. So I got here 10 kilo ohm resistor. And uh, I got here another 10 kilo ohm resistor. And I got a 10 microfarad capacitor. Okay. Using this one, I'm trying to calculate it. So T1 is equal to 0 0.693 into 10 kilo ohm plus 10 kilo ohm and 10 plus into 10 microfarad. You got the T1 value. And T2 is equal to 0 0.693 into R2, 10 kilo ohm into 10 microfarad. I got my T2. The total time is T1 plus T2. Okay, so I got the total time. So I got the frequency f is equal to 1 by t. So obviously I need to calculate the value is 4.810 hertz. So this is my frequency. So if you want to change the frequency of this one, change the values here, the resistance capacitors, automatically you are able to do it. Okay. So let's move on to the real circuit designing. So here is the breadboard. Now I'm going to connect it now. Um, let's start out circuit designing with uh, the triple five timer. So I'm trying to make out the triple five timer connector. So the triple five timer is connector. Okay, triple five timer is connector. Now what I'm trying to do is like uh, um, we got the pin one which needs to be ground. So I got my pin one which I'm trying to ground it. Okay, this one I made, I'll try to make this one as ground and this one is five voltage. So I'll try to ground this one. Looks good. Now what I'll do is like, uh, I got my pin two. Pin two needs to be connected. So pin two needs to be connected. Pin two needs to be connected with the capacitor. So I got my capacitor, the positive terminal, I'm trying to connect it. I'm trying to connect it and uh, the ground I connected. So positive and ground is connected with this capacitor. It's a 10 microfarad for charging and discharging. And pin 2 needs to be connected to pin 6. So pin 2 needs to be connected to pin 6. So it's connected to pin 6. Pin 2 needs to be connected to pin 6. And uh, pin 3 I need to connect to the LED. So I got my pin 3 here. Pin 3, I need to connect to the LED. So I got my LED here. So connected to LED. And I got my pin 4, which needs to be connected to the 5 voltage. So I got my pin 4, which needs to be connected to the 5 voltage. Which needs to be connected to the 5 voltage. Now I need the capacitor, which needs to be connected. So I got my pin 5, which I'm not going to use it. So it is not used. And uh, I got my capacitor. I'm going to connect my capacitor. So I'm trying to connect my capacitor here. So I'm 
so i got my capacitor here so my capacitor is connected with a uh, 6 and 7 so mm -hmm. pin 6 and pin 7 is connected with the capacitor and uh, what i'm trying to do is like uh, i'm trying to put my variable resistor so i'll try to connect my variable resistor so this is my variable resistor i have connected now uh, so from pin 7 i need to connect to the variable resistor here so this variable resistor will have two pins in this one direction and one pin here okay so use one pin among the two pin to connect to a seventh terminal of of this ic and uh, the opposite one try to connect with the eighth terminal so i'm trying to connect my eighth terminal here okay so the overall circuit is ready now the final touch is like i need my eighth terminal needs to be connected to my 5 voltage so my eighth terminal needs to be connected to the 5 voltage so i need to give the supply now so the circuit is ready overall so we connected all the pins effectively and uh, we'll miss this fifth pin which i don't want to use it now uh, let's have my arduino board ready and uh, i got my ground pin okay so this is connected to the ground and my 5 voltage so if you got a battery it's more than enough to use your batteries that's it sir uh, let me cross check it so first pin so pin number 1 pin number 1 i have connected to the ground i have connected to the ground and pin number 2 i have connected to the capacitor i have connected to the capacitor and pin 2 is connected to pin 6 and uh, pin 3 is the output i connected to the led and pin 4 i connected to the 5 voltage supply the 5 voltage supply and uh, pin 6 which got the resistor connected between pin 7 and pin 6 and i got my uh, this one ready so my uh, pin 7 is connected to this voltage uh, to this resistor and the pin this pin is connected to my eighth pin so the circuit is ready so i'll try to uh, change the variable resistor to see whether my lights is on or off that's really awesome the circuit is ready we are able to see based on the resistance automatically the flickering or flipping of your led is happening okay you are able to see it here i'm trying to change it can you see the delay here i'm trying to increase the delay you are able to see the frequency is increased so this is how the triple five timer is used to make a delay and to create a frequency or to define the frequency your triple five timer is used and once i am telling you no need of use this uh, using this uh, arduino board it's more than enough to give a 5 volt supply or 9 volt supply which i defined in this circuit okay so our youtube channel is wikidiki core our intention is to make the people to understand the technology and to create their projects by their own so this is to motivate the people to give and uh, to create a new ink generation so thanks for watching this video and uh, and subscribe to our channel and uh, you can you can share this one to your friends thank you